Hey there, and welcome back to another mouth-watering episode of Food Fact 4, You. Today, we're diving into a burning hot topic. Ever wondered why a glass of milk comes to the rescue when you've had a bit too much spice? Hold on to your taste buds, because we're about to explore the science behind how milk works its miraculous cooling spell. All right, so picture this. You've just taken a bite of that insanely spicy chili and your mouth feels like it's on fire. Ouch, right? But fear not, because a tall glass of milk is here to save the day. But how exactly does this dairy delight work its magic? Before we dive headfirst into the mesmerizing milk miracle, let's take a moment to unravel the intriguing world of the Scoville scale, the very yardstick that quantifies the mind-boggling heat levels of those innocent-looking peppers. Think of it as the Richter scale for spice enthusiasts. This scale, my heat-seeking comrades, measures the potency of that fiery punch packed by various peppers. And where does this heat come from? Well, buckle up, because we're about to meet the culprit capsaicin. Yes, you heard that right. Capsaicin is the fiery chemical compound that's responsible for turning even the most innocent-looking bell pepper into a red-hot dragon. The more capsaicin a pepper contains, the more your taste buds are in for a wild ride. It's like entering a high-stakes poker game, where capsaicin is the bold player upping the ante with every move, and your taste buds are all in, bravely facing the spicy showdown. Imagine your mouth is the arena, and Capsaicin is the uninvited guest that's lighting it up like a fireworks display. Your tongue, the innocent bystander, is suddenly thrust into this intense flavor fiesta. With every bite, it's like a round of poker where Capsaicin is raising the stakes, leaving your taste buds on the edge, dealing with the burn in a culinary game of chance. So, whether you're savoring a mild jalape or bravely facing off with a scorching habanero, Capsaicin is the mastermind behind this thrilling sensation. Now, let's address the myth that water is the best remedy for spicy situations. Nope, not quite. Water might cool you down temporarily, but it's like trying to put out a fire with a squirt gun. Enter Milk, our dairy hero. It contains casein, a protein that acts like a superhero cape against capsaicin. All right, let's dig deeper into the heart of the matter. Picture this, capsaicin molecules, those sneaky little devils responsible for the blistering heat and spicy food are like tiny fiery ninjas. They've got a knack for seeking out the fatty, oily nooks and crannies of your mouth. It's like they're on a mission to turn every corner into a spicy dance floor, and your taste buds are their unwilling dance partners. But hold the phone, because here's where Milk and its trusty sidekick Kaysen swoop in to save the day. Kaysen is like the cool-headed hero in this spicy saga, and it's armed with a mission to create a creamy, dreamy barrier between Capsaicin and your taste buds. Imagine Kaysen as a smooth operator sliding in like a velvet rope at a swanky club, separating the fiery capsaicin from your unsuspecting taste buds. The result? A sensation that's as refreshing as a dip in an ice-cold pool on a scorching summer day. Casein envelops those capsaicin molecules, shielding your taste buds from their scorching advances. So, the next time you're nursing a spice-induced inferno in your mouth, remember this epic showdown between Casein and capsaicin. It's like watching a spicy martial arts movie, but with a creamy twist. Milk becomes the hero, capsaicin becomes the defeated villain, and your taste buds? They're the lucky ones basking in the aftermath of this flavor-filled battle. Do you remember the old saying, like, dissolves like? That's the key to understanding why milk works wonders. Capsaicin is fat-soluble which means it dissolves in fats and oils, not water. Milk's fat content is like a cozy blanket for capsaicin, making it easier for your body to wash away the heat. But wait, there's more. Milk isn't just about casein and fat. It's loaded with calcium too. When capsaicin does its spicy tango with your taste buds, it triggers pain receptors. Calcium in milk binds to these receptors, quieting down the fiery dance and giving you sweet relief. 
I understand if you're pondering alternatives like grabbing a soda or savoring a piece of chocolate to counteract the heat. However, let's delve into the specifics. While those sugary indulgences might offer momentary diversions, they lack the specific elements that efficiently counter capsaicin's effects like milk does. The key lies in the unique combination of protein, fat, and calcium found in dairy products. These elements work in unison to effectively neutralize the impact of capsaicin, setting milk apart as a more precise solution to tame the fiery aftermath of spicy foods. Hold on, lactose intolerant friends. If you're steering clear of milk, fear not. You can still find relief with alternatives like almond milk, coconut milk, or even yogurt. They might not have the exact same effect, but they can still help tame the flames. And there you have it, food explorers. The next time you're crying over a plate of spicy nachos, remember that milk is your trusty sidekick. With its casein, fat, and calcium trio, it's the ultimate firefighting elixir. Thanks for joining me on this exploration. Remember, milk isn't just for cookies, it's your spicy savior too. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more mind-blowing food facts and share your favorite spicy experiences in the comments below.